Mountain Power, the largest electric utility in Vermont, is not your grandmother's electric company. Under the leadership of Mary Powell, its CEO, Green Mountain has transformed itself into one of the most tech-savvy, forward-looking, and environmentally responsible utilities in the nation. Mary grew up in New York City, never imagining she would one day head an electric company. She loved the arts and thought she might follow in her father's footsteps and become an actor. But she excelled in business courses in college and, on graduation, was hired by a Wall Street firm. She soon became the firm's Associate Director of Operations. Mary is an entrepreneur at heart. In 1989, she and her husband left New York for the greener pastures of Vermont, where they started two businesses. Her life took a sudden turn when she tried to sell one of the businesses to Green Mountain Power. Instead of buying the business, Green Mountain executives were so impressed with Mary's intelligence and creativity that they asked her to join the company as a vice president. She resisted at first, but eventually accepted. For those of us in the conservation movement, we can be thankful she did. Mary joined Green Mountain Power in 1998 and became its CEO 10 years later. She immediately set out to reshape the company with a radically new vision of how a utility can serve its customers. Under the traditional model, public utilities generate electricity at large power plants or purchase it from regional grids. One of the things we really feel like we're in the business of doing here in Vermont is accelerating what we believe is a consumer-led revolution uh, to distributed resources and a completely different model. Her company has invested heavily in renewable energy, including wind, solar, and hydro. Equally important, it is turning homes, neighborhoods, and entire towns into virtual power plants. Green Mountain Power is one of the few utilities in the nation that is encouraging its customers to install solar panels. And it is the very first to make high capacity Tesla batteries available to customers. We are so excited to be partners with Tesla and we were thrilled to really be the first ones uh, to work with customers and, and to deliver them as a part of an energy transformation solution. Um, the Tesla Powerwall, and I, I love the reason it's called a power wall, um, it's called that because it actually is so elegant looking that you might actually want to just put it on your living room wall in your home with a nice little pin light on it to sort of show it off. When paired with solar panels, the batteries allow homeowners to produce and store their own energy and feed electricity back to the grid during peak demand. Why would a utility encourage its customers to go solar? Mary says technology is changing the industry and utilities will become obsolete if they don't take part. Rutland, Vermont with more solar per capita than any other city in New England embodies her vision of the future. Mary is one of the very few female chief executives in the utility industry. A colleague says, if we could clone Mary and spread her around, everything would be more efficient and productive. We salute a woman who demonstrates how one person with bold ideas can make a difference, who is vigorously leading her company to a low carbon future who stands forth as a shining example for girls and young women who aspire to meaningful careers in business. Mary Powell.